Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Greg Monroe of uh, G.S. Monroe Folk Music. And I thought you might be interested in uh, seeing how I make one of my uh, six-string guitar necks. What I've got here in a moment is a, is a blank that I've put together over the last couple of days. It's a three-piece laminate neck. I have uh, two pieces of my Gulf Coast Cypress with a one inch thick piece of cherry wood in the middle. I laminate together, clamped it together, let the glue dry good. That will add strength to the neck. Yesterday I put it on the router table and I routed the uh, truss rod channel to it and I put it on the bandsaw and cut the detail rough, roughed in the neck itself. Now this is a through neck design. This is not a, a bolt on or a set neck. This is a through neck design guitar that I'm building. So I've got it to this point here and now the task for today is going to be profiling the back of the neck, shaving it down and getting the contour where I want it to be. One of the first steps that I use, see if I can get this on camera here, is I've traced a line with a pencil showing how far over I want it to round. I don't need it to go all the way to the very edge because I've already established the the taper of the neck. Down here where the down here where the nut is all the way to this line here which is where it will join to the guitar body. And I've got the I've got my guitar body here. The, the sides of the guitar body are fresh out of the mold. I'll show you how it's going to set in. The guitar neck set in here roughly with the with the body come together like this. It's going to be a semi hollow through neck design because I'm going to have a a lot of electronic components involved in this one, this particular one. This is not going to be one of my slimline acoustics, although it will have some excellent acoustic properties. Um, this is going to be set up more along the lines of the Les Paul style uh, dual humbuckers, but it'll also have the LR Bags uh, T bridge and the equalizer package that I put in my other guitars. Um, this is going to be more of a of a hybrid between the LR Bags Pizio system and a magnetic humbucker system. And I'm going to have a a three-way toggle switch that allows you to switch back and forth between the two modes. I'm not going to be trying to do anything as complicated as uh, blending pots and trying to run both systems at the same time. We'll have an either or in this particular guitar. But I need to set this aside. Now, to do this kind of work, I have created, put together an ingenious little device here, I, I think it is, that uses the your standard 16 inch planer blades. I have a a, a uh, thickness planer that runs on a blade system, a three bladed thickness planer and when the blades get to where they're just um, too dull for me to use with the thickness planer I'll put them on my on my whetstone sharpen them back up and I mounted them in a, in a wooden handle so that I can use as a scraper or use as 
um, a spoke shave. Spoke shaves are a little on the pricey, and I'm I'm a cheap type of person, so I I if I can make the the tool myself, why why go out and buy a tool? You'll I'm gonna start at the at the this side, work my way all the way around to the other side. Now when you I'm um, see if I can get this on the on the camera. If you can see the end grain on on this wood, you'll you'll notice that the grain is fairly vertical. Um, I have the, the grain fairly vertical, but the grain also has a bit of a contour where it is wide at the top, wide at the top up near where my fretboard is going to be, and then narrows down either way to bring it kind of a V. I, I chose to go that way because it, it really makes for a, a nice grain pattern when it does finally come together. And then later once I get the neck contour properly I'll glue my wings to the sides of the of the headstock and I'll take my little headstock template that I have here and I will I will get that trimmed and cut out. But I use a standard wooden template that I made for for my guitar headstocks. That way they all pretty much are when you see one of that particular design you have a good idea where it came from. But let's begin. I said we'll we'll work from that line. That way I preserve this dimension here on either side of the neck. And I'm going to be shaping this Somewhat, the, the customer asked for a Stratocaster style thin neck, so it's going to be a shallow, a, a shallow C neck, and I'm going to work to where um, this dimension down here in the center, where I, which I bandsawed, is already within about a eighth of an inch of my clearance at the bottom of the of the truss rod channel so I'm going to be working with this to the sides and blending the contour to this level here You see that the there's a lot of nice neck contour has already started. Uh, that's uh, I'll I'll show you some pictures of the neck once I get it completed, but. That's a part one of my method for building guitars. <laughs> I have
have fun and let music just uh, become a part of your life, people.